Hi, my name's Ross Alana. I'm a marine biologist at Bath University, and I'm here today to tell you a little bit about plastic. Plastic is an amazing substance. It can be used to make clothing, food packaging, car parts, and even houses. It's super cheap to make, and it's virtually indestructible. But this is also the problem with plastic, or rather, how we as humans are choosing to use plastic. Plastics can take a long time to break down naturally, or biodegrade. That plastic bottle you just used will be around for at least another 400 years. So if Shakespeare had had a water bottle, we would still be able to use it today. And that styrofoam chip container you just ate out of will hang around for as long as the pyramids have already been here. In fact, almost every piece of plastic we've ever made is still here with us somewhere. Unfortunately, a good chunk of the plastic we make ends up in our oceans. And because plastic takes so long to break down, it's just building up and up and up. Scientists have calculated that around 12 million tonnes of plastic is added to our ocean every year. So each year, another 12 million tonnes of plastic is added. Circular ocean currents called gyres collect up this plastic and bring it together in giant floating islands or garbage patches, some of which are as big as the United States of America. These pieces of floating plastic get eaten by turtles, whales, dolphins, seals, seabirds and other marine animals where they block up their stomachs. Sunlight and waves cause the big chunks of plastic to get broken down into smaller pieces called microplastics. These microplastics are then eaten by tiny plankton and work their way up the food chain into bigger and bigger animals. And now humans have started eating pieces of plastic inside the fish that we catch. So what can you do to reduce your plastic footprint? Just think about the three R's, reduce, reuse and recycle. Firstly, is it possible to reduce the amount of plastic that you use from day to day? The easiest way to do this is to shop at your local greengrocer and take your own bags with you which you can reuse again and again. Secondly, if you have to use plastic, think about whether you can reuse it. For example, if you buy a bottle of water, you can take that plastic bottle of water and refill it again and again and again. Finally, if you are going to use plastic, think about whether you can recycle it. Some plastics aren't recyclable, but loads of them are. But remember, this isn't going to be a solution forever because there's a limit to how many times we can recycle different types of plastics. But I've got to say, one of my favourite ways to reduce ocean plastic is to do a two-minute beach clean. As the name suggests, this involves going down to the beach, timing yourself and spending two minutes picking up any litter that you can find. How much litter can you prevent getting into our oceans? Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, just comment below. 